All right. Hi, all. Today, I'll be talking to you a little bit about how to lubricate your 3D printer. And um, you're going to be lubricating your X, Y, and Z axles, as well as your lead Z screw in your 3D printer. So today, the featured products are Unilube and Magnalube. So first, we're going to talk about oil oiling your X, Y, and Z axles. So you can take a little drop of Unilube, add it to both here and here. And in order to distribute the oil, you can take your print head and just move it back and forth in both directions, X and Y. And I usually do this about two or three times just to fully distribute the oil and it's pretty smooth to move and um, you don't have to apply too much pressure to, pressure to the print head it'll pretty much move with you and Ultimaker recommends that you do this about once a month in order to um, avoid pretty much like a rigid printing or even warping um, so once we have the X and Y lubricated now we want to move on to the Z so I'll add a drop of the lubricant to both um, both axles. And you literally just need a drop. So there we go. And then for the Z, it's a little bit different because there is no print head. So what we're going to do is go to settings. We're going to go to maintenance, if you can see that. Then you're going to go down to build plate and you're going to go to move build plate. And it's going to say raise and lower so you can raise it. And this will raise this up to distribute that oil. And then you can press lower and that'll lower it. And again, you might want to do this two or three times in order to distribute your oil. So I'm going to just raise it and lower. So once we have that pretty much lubricated, the last thing we want to do is apply our Magna Lube to your lead Z screw. So I will take a little bit of that Magna Lube. So I have a little bit on there. And I'll just put a little dab. So you just need a little dab on here. That's probably perfect. So as you can see, it is right on there. And so it'll go back to that same process of raising. And lowering. And you'll do this two or three times just to just to distribute your oil, um, both lubricants. And you just want to make sure. Um, one thing to keep in mind is you don't want any of your lubricants to touch that build plate because they can affect your adhesion. And once you've done that, you're pretty much set for the for the month. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Happy 3D printing.